Basically, GoofTube is your boy D, aka Mofaga, aka D23, back again with some more Shadowgun Legends action. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back for some more Shadowgun Legends duel. I hope everybody's doing good. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this video already. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to show you guys how to play Shadowgun Legends with, uh, with the controller with almost any controller or the controller that is compatible with iOS devices because I'm actually playing this game on iPad Air 2 and the controller that I have is Steel Series Nimbus which is um, compatible with iOS devices uh, any iOS device and I can just play any game well not any game only the game that has been mapped by the developers themselves or the Steel Series themselves um, that they can basically attach to, uh, that they can basically use and play while using the controller you know what I mean so right now I'm actually using the controller and to prove you guys that I'm using a controller we're gonna go to the settings real quick and I'm gonna show you that this is how your controls looks like when you have a controller connected to your iPad or your game uh, everything else looks the same you know auto fire iron sight aim sensitivity sprint sen sprint sprint sensitivity that's a that's a that's one hell of a tongue twister but when you connect your controller you're gonna see another option popping up which is inward I inward Y axis controller which is basically means how you look up and down uh, using your uh, you know thumbsticks I have to turn it on because that's just how my brain works my brain can't really work or can't really register if I have it off and I can't really use you know the weird uh, joystick mechanics if I have them off you know what I mean so yeah that's how the controls looks uh, you don't really need to do anything crazy you don't really need a third-party app to map the buttons because everything has been mapped for you you know what I mean I will give you guys an example we'll go on a mission I'll show you how it really feels while playing with the controller you know what I mean so yeah that's that about the controller you're not doing anything crazy let's go ahead and you know, jump right into a mission real quick what do I have over here did I unlock? Oh yeah, I got a, I got a little pistol. All right, so let's go to jump right into a mission real quick, and I'll tell you how it feels and which buttons that I'm using to shoot or throw grenades or uh, use my special abilities. <clears throat> it took me a hot minute, maybe one or two games, and I, I grasped them fairly quickly. It was, it was that easy. So as you guys can see, if I press A, uh, it will, you know, start the mission. So let's gonna do that. And if I want to change the weapon, well, before that, uh, let me go ahead and you know show you around. So I'm using my left and right thumb to look, you know, and move around. And if I want to change the weapon, I'll press Y or I will press uh, triangle if you have like a PlayStation 4 controller, and it will change the weapon for me. Very similar, <coughs> the way you have in any shooter game on a console. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm moving forward with my left joystick or left thumb. Uh, left joystick and now if I want to aim down the sight I will use R2 or the left button um, with my index finger so you know, I'm using L2 and I'm aiming down the sight and if I want to do you know fire I will use R2 to fire so let me show you guys it basically works the same way uh, the way it works, like I said, in any other shooter game on a on a console, you know what I mean? Again, I can switch the weapon, and I can just aim down the sight, and I can basically kill all the. Uh, um, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? Where is he? Get away! What was I saying? I totally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> and like I said, it, it everything is basically mapped for you guys, and you can basically just jump right into the uh, the game and basically play the game for hours and it feels great dude it gives you um, it gives, it definitely gives you the console quality experience It feels great. It's smooth. It's it's, it's very um, intuitive. It's rea it reacts faster, and it's fun. Trust me, it's very fun. It's fun. It's great fun in story mode and um, co-op. But I prefer you guys using your thumbs in uh, in in the multiplayer battles because 
um, I'll show you why because of the movement um, you guys probably have noticed the movement with the controller is a little slow and if you want to play in PvP you you can't really be you can't be you can't you can't be slow you know what I mean you have to have that twitch fast reacting movement so you can you know be on top of things and have their upper hands on your opponents and you can kill them like that you know what I mean so you you gotta have that fast movement and reaction time when playing in PvP so yeah be very careful use it in PvP use it in uh, story mode use it in co-op but don't use it in uh, multiplayer battle because you will get your ass into to you because it's it's not really fun to use the controller um, in uh, multiplayer battle sorry guys so I can't really you know talk and play at the same time it's, it's it's really hard to do so okay 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 get away get away all right uh, okay so let me show you how to or let me show you how I use my uh, special abilities it's pretty simple you press L1 and R1 and it will just drop the turret and it will use the deflective shield or whatever it's 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 amazing like it's nothing different it's very similar to the way you will have these settings in a the way you will have these settings in a console game you know what I mean R2 for shoot L2 to aim down the side L1 to you know throw your special abilities or you know use your special abilities or R1 to use your other special abilities um, that's that um, yeah, nothing, nothing special. You know what I mean? I can just hit or hold the uh, X button or A button, and it will just, you know, end the mission. For you. That's basically it. That's basically it. You don't really have to do anything. You don't really map. You don't really need to map anything. All you have to do is just connect your controller, and everything will be mapped for you. Simple as that. So this is how you basically connect the controller and play Shadow of Legends. Alright guys, with that being said, that's basically it in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit a comment, subscribe, share, like. And I will see you guys next time. Peace! Merry Friends, yeah!